This is Rock and Roll English. Real people, real English. Here's your host, Martin Johnson. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Rock and Roll English. Episode number 170, baby. Oh yeah, we are moving closer to that 200 number. Um, anyway, in today's episode, I speak to Clarification Charlie. Yes, she is back and we talk about this and that. That may make no sense to you, but when you listen to the conversation, I'm sure it will. And in the conversation, we speak about getting naked in the hot tub, um, Scooby-Doo and eating dogs, but it's not what you think, okay? Remember, all of the rock and roll vocabulary is on the website, rockandrollenglish.com, episode 170. If you want a podcast every day, rockandrollenglish.com slash family, baby. I will speak to you all again at the end. Happy listening. <laughs> Clarification, Charlie, how are you today? I'm very well. Thank you, Martin. How are you? Always fantastic, Charlie. Always fantastic. Even more fantastic. Now you are back. Ah, oh, thank you very much. I've missed it. It's been a while. We have missed you too. We also had that term last week. It's been a while. Um, so it has been a long time since we spoke. Mm. Because also Boom Boom last week made a bit of a comeback. The week before Oof. that, Dan the Man hadn't been on for about six weeks. It's all comebacks yeah. these days. Yeah, I know. Feeling feeling quite honoured to be back. Yeah, I was I was going to say you should be, but then I thought that doesn't sound nice, does it, if I say that? <laughs> I, I was trying to keep a positive note, but... You know, I'm not very good at that. Let's stick to the negative stuff. Um, anyway, I know it's been a while, but how do we usually start the show? With a review. Oh, yeah, baby. Do you think we have a review? Yes. Um, yes, we do. And what a review we have. Ooh. Okay. Um, it's from Tony Shu. I think I have that right. Um, and it says... No review? That's impossible. I have so many episodes to catch up on. I get the idea that Dan the Man is back. That's true. I love Clarification Charlie. Oh, thank you very much, Martin Shu. Martin, his name's Tony Shu, but, Tony you know, Shoe. never mind. <laughs> oh, not, not everyone in the world is called Martin, <laughs> OK? I've just got you on my mind. <laughs> sure. Martin Shu, Tony Shu... I'm so sorry, Tony. I had she right. You, you got that right, yeah. Well, we're not sure if that's even the correct pronunciation, but never mind. Oh. Um, so that's a, that's a big shout out. But then I don't mean to burst your bubble oh. here. So some rock and roll vocabulary there to like ruin your fun. Yeah. But most of all, Martin Johnston, also use my surname. You <laughs> are my favourite. Keep up the good work. Love you guys. Oh, that's really kind. Thank you, Tony. Amazing. Thank you. Tony Shoe, I love you. Oh, there we go. Well done. Yeah. E even rhymes. I actually thought of that before. I actually thought it sounds a bit like Scooby Doo. You know that Scooby yeah, Dooby Doo. Doo. Where, Where are, are you? you? Maybe we could start one. Tony Tony Shoe, <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Scooby Dooby Doo. Where are you? We got. We love your rock and roll reviews. <laughs> yeah. Not sure if it works like that. Oh, uh, all right. <laughs> Tried. Try and that's all we can ask. I've that been you away. Try your I've been best. away for too long. It, it, exactly, but we can only ask that you try your best. Clarification, Charlie. Mm. Um. Anyway, so do you know what today's show is about? No, I don't, and I get very, very nervous when this happens. Um. Well, I actually have a fantastic show today. Something we have never done before, and I'm actually quite looking forward to this one. Not that. I don't look forward to podcasts, but I am quite looking forward to this one because I had nothing to talk about. <laughs> I was doing some Google searches and then I found something called this or that questions. Ooh. Do you know what they are? I don't. Oh, no. Is it one of those things? Would you rather? Uh, kind of. I can see by your voice that you're really enthusiastic about this. So thank you. <laughs> I was just saying how excited I am. And then you said, Oh, no, it's not one of those. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you very much. Um, kind of, yeah. I've just got like two things um, and then you have to say which one you prefer, I suppose, like tea or coffee and you say which one, okay? okay? Yeah, fine. And then we can just discuss them. Normally this works quite fast, I think, where you just have to give your answer, but we're going to go into a bit more detail here, okay? Okay. 
Okay, so question one. I think I know the answer for you. But anyway, I'm going to ask. Dog or cat? Ah, dog. (laughs) I love my dog. How much do you love your dog from zero to ten? It's it's, honestly, I love him so much it hurts. Like, (laughs) it's incredible. (laughs) He is amazing. I think that's why I don't have a dog because I I just know if I had a dog I would love it so much it would hurt me and I just don't want that pain (laughs) I can't live with the pain of loving the dog so much oh he is just just absolute like a a dream boat he is just scrummy Mm, so scrummy I suppose I don't know if that qualifies as a real word but almost like you want to eat him I suppose yeah he's just delicious he's amazing delicious i mean have yeah. you eaten him because that's usually <laughs> <laughs> usually used for actually eating things delicious no i'm just looking at him now and he's just so soft and fluffy and oh, just that's... cute and amazing you have to stop because this is hurting me the, 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 cause I, <laughs> I, i'm starting to love your dog so much as well um Thanks. i'm obviously choosing cats there because yeah. I think I've said it before, but dogs need attention. They're always like, play with me, (laughs) play. (laughs) Whilst cats, they do their own thing, okay? The cat's over there doing the cat thing. I'm over here doing my thing. The dog wants to get involved in my thing. That's the problem. You just can't trust cats, so that's the thing. They're so unpredictable. I don't like it. Well, I feel the same about dogs, okay? They always Mm. attack me. They don't like bikes. (laughs) Let's not go there. We've been there before. Okay. Next okay. on the list is yeah. Netflix or YouTube. Oh, Netflix. Yeah. Oh, fuck off. Yeah. I don't, I'm not very good with YouTube. I don't get it. <laughs> it's, I bet it's too difficult for you to work, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> we just, just so people know, we're speaking on Skype. Obviously, it took about 25 <sighs> minutes for clarification, Charlie, to switch on her camera. You know, uh, that's always it's difficult. It's not as simple as you think. There's it's, a strange privacy mode on it and I don't understand how to undo it and it's taken a while. Why is there a privacy mode on your camera? What I'd, are you doing with your webcam? <laughs> this is making me think that you go on those sex chat uh, things. I and absolutely then you, do you just... not. But I just, I don't know. I think it's like a safety <laughs> thing, like a family safety thing to stop people hacking <laughs> Your well, camera, isn't it? Because people can do that. People can see through your camera sometimes. Mm. Um, so you, but chose... I don't. I don't get YouTube. It's I don't understand it. I mean, it is difficult to click on the video and then watch the video. It, it's not for everyone. Actually, saying that, my niece, when she was actually, I think, two, she could work YouTube on the iPad. But um, obviously, it's too difficult for you. I, on the other hand, love. YouTube. The great thing is, as well is it tells you what your recommended videos are. So it knows me. I feel like me and YouTube have a very good relationship. You know, if there's a football video that's a new one, for example, a new interview with someone I've not seen, I wake up in the morning, have breakfast, iPad, YouTube. Would you like to watch this Ryan Giggs interview? Yes, please. Oh, God. See, I think that's where we differ because I don't get this kind of stuff. And like people who think, oh, look, watch this really funny video of like someone doing something. I just don't find that funny. Yeah, I like I... Netflix because there's like fun series and films and stuff that you can just sit back and enjoy and be entertained. You know, YouTube's only like they're like five minute videos. And it's like, oh, I well, think I again. mean, there are. Also, two-hour videos, whatever you want. That's it. Right. Caters for all needs. So a nice verb there, to cater. <laughs> Provides what is needed. And that is why it is amazing. Um, anyway, moving on. We can't talk about YouTube the whole time. Phone call or text message? I mean, we can even probably just move text message to WhatsApp now. Oh, I think phone call generally because I get a bit lazy with typing. Oh, I'm it's, quite it's, bothered. It, it, I'm 100% with you. At least we found one thing that we can <laughs> agree on, yeah. And then, you you know, you're waiting for the other person. You can see yeah. the other person's typing. You have to wait. Then uh, as well, the, the autocorrect. So the autocorrect is the thing that te- basically tries to predict the word you're writing. That can be a bloody nightmare, uh, can't it? Autocorrect is ridiculous. The amount of things that have been changed is, yeah, hilarious. I actually suffered from this once quite badly myself when um, 
I said, um, I think it was to my brother, I'm getting sick. And well, that's what I wanted to say. But what I actually said was, I'm getting dick. <laughs> like, sorry, I can't speak. I can't speak. I'm just getting a bit of dick. Just, you know. Oh, I love it. Oh, yeah, baby. So another one here, bath or shower? Uh, shower. I'm not a big bath person. I get a bit restless. That's my problem. I'm kind of like always on the go. Every now and then... A bath is lovely. I, I had you down for a bath person. So when I say I had you down, I expected you were a bath person. No, I just, I get fidgety. I get bored. I'm like, oh, I need to do something else now. Let's move on. Oh, I, I'm with you. What else is there to do? But some nice rock yeah. and roll vocabulary when she said she gets fidgety. So people that fidget can't stay still. They constantly have to move, which yeah. can be annoying. But I'm I'm with you. In the, in the bath, I mean, what do you do? You sit down, you're like, oh, this is relaxing for about 10 seconds. And then you... Yeah. There's just nothing else to do, is there? No. I'll tell and you I what tried. you can do, though. You can watch YouTube. Oh, I, maybe I should do that. But I worry about electronics. Mm, good point. You, you yeah. know. Always, yeah, do Safety not let... first. <laughs> exactly. Do not <laughs> let those electronics near the water. Um, so another one here is swimming or sunbathing. Oh, I love swimming. You... Again, I'm a fidgeter. <laughs> really? Yeah. I, I didn't have you down for a swimmer. So I, uh... I, said I didn't have you down. I didn't expect you to be. So when you go to the sea, you start swimming. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, unless so, like, if, yeah, on a holiday, definitely by pool. I'm in and out of that pool all the time. I used to do like a lot, quite a lot of swimming when I was younger. I used to do like loads of different like competitions. and. I, I did some of that as well. I've got some of, because I don't know if this happens in all countries, but in England, when you swim, I don't know, 25 metres, you get a badge yeah. and then you can oh, just yeah. put that on your swimming trunks. You get your mum. Big time. To sew that on your little swimming trunks. So the s- trunks are the ones that just basically cover your penis and your ass. <laughs> I had fucking loads of them. 25 metres, yeah. 50 metres, 100, 150, 200. I think I had to get some more swimming trunks. There was no there was no space for the badges. It was like, look. It's like putting them on your towel or something and hang your towel up to show it, off all your badges. Exactly. But... Um, it's fucking boring though, swimming, isn't it? We're talking about oh, baths are boring. No. Swimming, you just go up and down, up and down, up and down. What are you on about? You get I love like I love I actually really love the feeling of being underwater. So like you go under <laughs> What are you swim. a fish? Oh, it's just amazing. What you swim yep. underwater? <laughs> I do, I love can... it. I absolutely love it. And this is how this is how like fidgety I get when I'm on holiday as well. I'm like, oh, I want to see like how long I can do like underwater and I see whether I can do like how many widths or if I can do the full length. Like I set myself little challenges to do every just, day. Just having fun on your own. I can just imagine, you know, Mr. the Clarification Charlie is uh, taking care of your daughter and then you're just under the water. Oh, I was under the water for 10 seconds. Uh, please, like a minute. <laughs> Oh wow, that oh, that is amazing! One Ten minute. Ten seconds is bullshit. Don't even <laughs> don't even try and get involved yeah. in this. I I will just be watching you from the side with a nice yeah. book. I'll go in every few minutes, get myself wet from head to toe, cool down every hour, oh, go yeah. in under the water, come back out, book, having a bit of a sunbathe, loving it, loving I, life. I do love a good sunbathe. Don't get me wrong, but I also just love the water. I love it. <laughs> Born to swim. Um, yeah. Some nice rock and roll vocabulary, though, when you said, don't get me wrong. A lovely phrase we use when you want to make sure the person doesn't get the wrong idea. I've understood clarification, Charlie. You love the water. OK, Thank you. Um, so another one here. Um, it's quite a ridiculous one, but still. Um, do you prefer a rich friend or a loyal friend? Loyal friend. <laughs> I mean, that's the that's the good answer, isn't it? If you know you want to. Pretend you're a good Samaritan, so a good Samaritan, like a good person, basically. But let's face it. So yeah. let's accept it. Having a rich friend is really good as well, because maybe they've got their own swimming pool and they can, you know, it's just fucking great. Yeah, no, absolutely true. I do. I've got a number of wealthy friends. Absolutely. <laughs> so wealthy, just a little bit less than rich. Just trying to be nice to say they're fucking loaded. So if someone is loaded, they are rich, very rich yeah and um but yeah and obviously 
get on very very well but my closest friends are obviously like my really really loyal friends oh, yeah i mean as i said that's the that's the easy answer yeah. and and the correct answer i suppose but rich friends are pretty yeah. good but pretty don't get good me wrong. as well like when i was a teenager quite a few of my friends had like swimming pools and hot tubs and things like that and so it was quite nice to like we every friday night we'd always like go back to one of their houses and the sort of session would carry on in the hot tub and then yeah that standard. was quite good standard that that's happened once to me in my really? life drinking in a hot tub yeah w- which was at my friend's wedding and um i remember we all got in there naked um which was good just seeing everyone's penis and so that that was the highlight that was the nice. highlight for me why not nice <laughs> do you know what the irony being i'm not actually a big fan of hot tubs now I just, don't really like them. It's just how things can change. Oh, terrible, I isn't know, it? Yeah. I know. You Being don't like to hot too tubs. Many. Yeah. Oh. I actually I had a... I'm sorry, we're going really off topic here. But I actually had a, an accident when I was... In, in, a, in a hot tub? So, yeah, honestly, true story. <laughs> well, you couldn't, you couldn't swim in the hot tub? No, it was a week before I was going off to university. And we were going to put... Me and my friend were putting the lid back on the hot tub after we'd been in there one night. And um, the, the the there's a bar on the roof of the hot tub and it was slightly broken. And I went to grab the bar as she pulled it towards me and she hit me in the mouth with this metal bar. She pulled it really quickly. Shouldn't be quickly. laughing. Yeah. Shouldn't be laughing. It was fucking funny though. Um, and she basically like broke one of my front teeth, like broke it. Um, and then uh, we had to go... So me and her went off to the dentist the next morning to get like an emergency appointment to get my my tooth fixed because I was just about to go to university. I think this probably explains why you don't like hot tubs now. You had a bad experience. This is to everyone. You know, hot tubs are great. You go and get drunk there. They can be dangerous as well. I know. I also just think sometimes they can ruin a party. You know, everyone's like, oh, let's go in the hot tub now. And I was like, well... No, I was quite happy just sat around having a few drinks. Well, it depends if people get naked because that really yeah. gets the party started, <laughs> believe me. If people get naked in the hot tub, believe me, that is how to start a party, okay? Oh, true. Um, so, true. one last one. Again, this one is kind of strange for some people, especially me. Um, it is writing poetry or reading poetry. Which one... <laughs> I mean, I always think, does anybody really like poetry? I don't know. Uh, reading? <laughs> but as I said, does anybody really like poetry? I think it's one of those things, nobody likes it, but everyone pretends they do just because they want yeah. to seem intelligent. So they yeah. say, oh, that poem, oh, it's got such a deep meaning that, yeah. you know, you, you probably can't understand, but... I understand. I think, oh, fuck off. It means fucking nothing. It's a load of shit. Yeah, I get a bit like that with a lot of um, arty things. And I, I you know, I I, I, am, I do love art, don't get me wrong. And I love <laughs> poetry look, and these kinds of things. Just because but... you have some rich friends doesn't mean you need to yeah. pretend that you love art. Okay, That's I do. What... I love the way it looks, but I hate it when people are like, oh, this really showed his... Like, you know, the fact that his dog died on that day and that thing because the way the brush stroke went. And I'm just like, oh, I think he might have painted it because it's actually just a really nice colour. That <laughs> I also agree with that. I like how you were so specific there about he's painted it like that because his dog died. <laughs> <laughs> Very specific. That's something that you can really see in a painting. Look, oh, he's, used, he's used dark brown there. Yeah. His dog his dog must have died. That was the agony. It was from the angle of the brush stroke. Can't you tell? Yeah. Maybe he loved his dog so much that it hurt and maybe oh. he had to kill his dog. So maybe one day you will kill your dog. What do you think? Don't. Oh, don't. <laughs> I just don't. Don't. Well, I sorry, I didn't mean to upset you there. No much no more pain than you already have to go through yeah. every day. So when you go through you have to really live it because you love your dog so much. But we've started the show talking about dogs and that is where we're going to finish it. So it's been lovely with playing this and that with you, even though you didn't want to. Thank um, you. Thank you for your time. And I'm sure we will see you again very soon. Absolutely. Thanks a lot, Martin. See you soon. Bye bye. Bye. OK, so that was me speaking to Clarification Charlie about this and that. 
Um, at the beginning of the episode, I said I don't mean to burst your bubble when she received a compliment in the review, but I received a better one. And I said, look, I don't want to burst your bubble. So she was obviously excited. So I was saying I don't want to ruin your excitement, but I'm going to. Um, we were talking about YouTube and I said it caters for all needs. So if something caters for something, it gives you exactly what is needed. That's where the word catering comes from. You know, you're having a dinner, you need food. The catering caters for you. <laughs> How about that? And um, we also spoke about autocorrect, um, which is the thing that changes your text messages. And as we found out, that can be very bad. Um, I then said that I had clarification, Charlie, down for a bath person. So when you have someone down for something, you expect them to be that. That's what you think, but it might be incorrect. Someone might say to me, oh, I had you down for a person that likes going to bed late. Not me. I like going to bed early, baby. Rock and roll till I die. Um, clarification, Charlie also said she's a bit fidgety. Um, well, she's always a bit fidgety. So that comes from the word fidget. So to fidget is just to move. Children do this a lot. You just want them to stay still and they fidget. They move. They can't help it. So you can say, I am a bit fidgety if you want. Um, then she also used the lovely term, don't get me wrong. When we were talking about sunbathing or swimming, she said she loves swimming. But then she said, I do love a good sunbathe. Don't get me wrong, OK, because she was worried that I wouldn't understand. But luckily, I understood. Um, we also had the term Good Samaritan when we said, you know, if you have to choose between a loyal friend and a rich friend, a Good Samaritan will always choose the loyal friend. And that is the correct thing to do. But rich friends are good as well. Um, I use the term, let's face it, like, let's just accept it. OK, let's stop trying to say something else. Let's just face the facts. Let's accept it. And um, we had the word wealthy, which is just below rich. OK, uh, maybe like clarification, Charlie, you want to talk about someone. It's not very nice to say, you know, they're rich. So you can say, mm, yeah, they're wealthy. But you really want to say they're rich or very rich, which was loaded. We had that word as well when I said they are fucking loaded. Um, and then we spoke about the pain that Clarification Charlie has to go through every day because she loves her dog so much. So when you go through something, you live it, let's say you kind of survive, but it's difficult. That's how difficult it must be to love a dog. That's why I don't want to get involved in the dog game. Anyway, remember, all of this rock and roll vocabulary is on the website, rockandrollenglish.com slash episode 170, baby. I will see you all again next week. But in the meantime, just keep on rocking, baby. Thanks so much for listening to Rock and Roll English. For more great content and to stay up to date, visit rockandrollenglish.com and facebook.com slash rockandrollenglish. We'll catch you next time.